You said it yourself, you said it yourself You said I want to be the one and be the best that I can You said it yourself, you said it yourself You said I want to be the one and be the best that I can Let's try some monkey business, stripey ties and dunking Get this is back to my mom, friend My pants are lent not for friends Tony, my brother, how are you? It's been a long time since we spoke. I was thinking perhaps we could get together when you're free. Have a couple oh. of drinks. Tom! What are you doing there? Ignore me. Finish your letter. Oh, it's just car insurance claim. Come on, come through. Come in. You're always doing this, always sneaking up on me. So, what brings you by? Christmas is a time for family. But we've not heard from you since you took that job of yours. Well, you know, the life of a postman leaves very little free time. No, I needed to give Dad some space. You knew how we took the news three years ago. Well, not really. He's never spoken about that day. What actually did happen? <laughs> Get away from the window. The postman's been already. Oh, seriously, Dad, why didn't you say anything? I've been awake for hours. Well, you were in the shower. Well, I didn't stop you yesterday running in to ask me if the eggnog smelled funny. Let me see. <laughs> I knew it. We're missing letters. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Tony. How can that be so? The postman not doing his job properly. Look, see this? It was postmarked three days ago. It's too late to reply. It's Christmas tomorrow. People sneer at you all year if you don't send them Christmas cards. <sighs> Peace and goodwill. As if. Tony, they get about a post just for one morning and come and sit with me by my desk. It's a matter I wish to discuss with you. It's about your Christmas present. As you know, the new year will be beginning after Christmas and I want you to think ahead of your college peers as to what you want to do with your life. It takes much consideration. After my A-levels, I went to Oxford to study law. As did my father, and his father before him. Now, I don't want you to feel in any way influenced by our family history. And of course, there are a whole plethora of careers out there, but none as respected and as well-paying as a career in law. Now that you have all the information you need, I want you to consider the facts and take into consideration what you want to do with the rest of your life. But I don't want to be a lawyer. No. I want to be a postman. I want to make sure that everybody in a certain area gets their letters delivered on time. Yes. Yes, I could see you doing that. Dad? Dad? You okay? Dad? Dad? So it happened a bit like that, really. Christmas has never really been the same since. You should have seen the table three days ago. <laughs> yeah. Christmas was usually something of a shambles at ours. Always ending the same. <laughs> someone cried, someone was rushed off to hospital, and a perfectly lovely bird got wasted. Yes, that was usually mother. <laughs> yeah, that woman could hold down a drink. Or ten. <laughs> she could hold them down, even when she was pregnant with us. <laughs> yeah, well, she was nuts. A few months inside her and I reckon we would have needed a few shots. <laughs> you see, I still believe there was an alcoholic influence in me being named after Tony the Tiger. <laughs> well, I was lucky not to be named son. Ah, yes, and uh, how is daughter? Oh, she's fine. She's called Emma now. Really? Good for her. So, go on then. Shake a leg. <sighs> Oh, I suppose so. He's on my route, after all. <laughs> Tony! Oh, my! How hey, wonderful Mom. to see you! <laughs> oh, 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been at the eggnog again, Mum? Yes, but drinking this time, <laughs> not sitting. Right. Your father will be so pleased to see you. <laughs> Harold! Harold! Oh. It's Tony! Oh. Tony's here! Oh. Oh, not the postman! You're back! What are you doing here? Is this something we need to sign for? Don't be silly, Dad. I'm your son. Oh. <laughs> Mum, I can't believe how drunk you are. And in the middle of the afternoon as well. Whatever do you mean, Tony? I've only had one glass. It doesn't count as one glass if you refill it ten times. Well, I only drink on special occasions. What, like every time we celebrate dinner? Ooh, what a good idea. <laughs> But have you grown bored of poking through random strangers' letterboxes like some sort of street pervert? Actually, Dad, I'm here to make the peace. And just at the most perfect time of year, let's do Christmas again. <laughs> do you know? This turkey's every bit as good as last year. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure it isn't last year's. It's a pity you missed Christmas three days ago. What do we usually talk about round the Christmas table? Depressing things. Oh, that reminds me. Mary next door died last week just before Christmas. Oh, that's sad. She used to take me to Sunday school when you were hungover. I only saw her last week. I went round when we had that power cut to see if the poor dear was okay. Do you know, she hadn't even realised there was a power cut. <laughs> How's that possible? <laughs> She'd seen a bus go by with all the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a classic. I can imagine her thinking uh, buses run on long extension cords. She'll be cracking them up in the afterlife. There is no afterlife. Once you're gone, you're gone. It's not a very festive attitude, Dad. Well, I'm sorry, Tony, but a son who doesn't come home for two years does tend to shake your faith. Well, I think someone who demands his witnesses to swear on the Bible would believe a little more. Oh, God, I wish I'd remain silent. Can we change the subject, please? No, we can't. I have bad days, you know, but I still believe in a God. And I think at some point I will find the reason for and the meaning of my bad days. There just has to be a God. I, I swear to God that there's a God. Why are we even talking about God and heaven and stuff? It's Christmas! No, it isn't. Well, I never believed anyone would name their son Jesus. Well, it's better naming him after a serial cartoon, don't you think? Oh, you were going on about that last time. Listen, if it bothers you so much, we'll call you Timothy Tyler. Why would you call me Timothy Tyler? Because it's your name, silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. When you were three, your mother drunkenly slurred Timothy Tyler. And I thought she said Tony the Tiger. <laughs> she found it so cute. And soon everyone was calling you it. And after a while, it just stuck. So hang on. From what actual name is Timothy Tyler? Yes, I believe that's the name still on your birth certificate. But you believe? You you mean you're not sure? Told you all this when you were younger. <laughs> no way. This never, ever happened. Oh, calm down. There's nothing to get worked up about. <sighs> but it's my name. Tony Timothy Tyler. Or whoever you are. You are my son. Now let's put aside our anger. Together we can watch your mother's drunken antics. I can regain my career as a lawyer. And you can post your letters without any fear of condemnation from your parents. Together, we can be a family again. <sighs> Goodbye. You said it yourself, you said it yourself. You said I want to be the one and be the best that I can. You said it yourself, you said it yourself. You said I want to be the one and be the best that I can. that I can and we all work hard